Big thank you to Little Nook and Hyperluminal Games for providing a key to Pinehearts through LureKit. Pinehearts is available now on Steam and Nintendo Switch. It's a game full of heart, a cozy little narrative adventure game that's set in the sleepy scenery of Pinehearts Caravan Park. It's a relaxing but emotional journey about healing after loss. You explore the great outdoors as you uncover items, unlock new paths, and discover all the little secrets stuffed throughout the park. This game is very charming and it was a genuine joy to play. There are lots of lovable NPCs that you meet throughout each area of the map, including some nods to iconic video game characters. The game took me about three hours to complete. It actually runs great on Steam Deck as well as of my recording this video, even though it isn't actually um, verified. I ran it on medium settings and it was a lot of fun to play and worked great. There are a total of seven areas of the map to discover, and as you do, you will unlock memories of your past time in the Pine Hearts Park, which helps move the main story along. There are a ton of side quests in each area, so I recommend you take time to speak to everyone that you meet. I was walking up to every single NPC, trying to interact with them or speak with them in some way, because a lot of them will often have um, something they need help with or something that you can do for them or something you could find for them. So I definitely recommend taking taking your time when playing the game and just exploring and meeting everybody around the Pine Hearts Park. This game has a lot of accessibility options, which I absolutely love because it means that more people can enjoy this game in a way that they are most comfortable. From visual modes to simplified controls and even a dyslexia friendly font, which I've ex said before that I am dyslexic and I find those fonts to be really helpful. Um, the game has a kind of whimsical font as a default and when you choose dyslexia font, it basically just makes the font more readable. It's not necessarily dyslexic font in the way that the bottom of the letters get thicker, so it's easier to follow, but it's an easier font to read overall. As sometimes when there's a lot of squigglies uh, or very like stylized font, it can be a little bit difficult to read. And it also was recommended that you play this game with a controller. I thought the game felt really great on controller. I didn't find myself getting stuck at all while I was playing. Um, I did realize though towards the end of the game that I did miss a few side quests, which is why I recommend taking your time in each area and really going everywhere and getting to know everyone. So I did have to go back and do a few more of them to complete the final area of the game. As you unlock memories or find tools while helping others complete different tasks around the map, you'll also be able to unlock new paths in each area. So going back and retracing your steps is also really helpful and you'll be able to find more of the secrets that Pine Hearts has in store. I very much enjoyed the art style of this game. It's so um, cute and unique. I found it really lended well to the relaxing, cozy outdoor vibes and genuinely made me want to go camping. Like this, the whole style and feel of the game, I was like, man, I really need to go out in the forest and just enjoy a nice time in the forest. <laughs> The soundtrack is very calming as well and changes for each area that you explore, which really gives it its own personality along with different styles. Each area um, is really well designed and is enjoyable to move through and they never feel the same. They're very distinct and individualized, which makes exploring even more enjoyable. I really found this game to be refreshing and I resonated a lot with its main story. Um, it deals with loss. I've lost some family members and learning how to deal with loss is honestly something that I am still dealing with. So I really much appreciated the emotional beats in the main story. They're done really well. Um, I even shed tears as the credits rolled, but with a smile on my face, that's not like it left me super, you know, sad or depressed, but it just was very relatable to me. And I really, really appreciated the story that they told in this game um, and kind of the experience as you're playing through what that means for the main character. And in a way, when I personally played it, how it meant for me or what it meant for me. So I really enjoyed it. I think it was a really good balance of having those emotional beats while also having parts where I laughed with different NPCs because they're all so unique and interesting. Um, just running around the map, it's a game that I think a lot of people are really, really going to enjoy. So if you got a Steam account or, an, or a Steam Deck or a PC where you got a Switch, I definitely recommend checking it out because it's one I think you shouldn't miss this year, even if it's something you catch later down the line. Definitely Definitely don't miss out on Pine Hearts. It's really, really awesome. And also a huge thanks to Hyperluminal Games for the key from Pine Heart for Pine Hearts through Lyricit. I was actually so surprised when I saw that I got a key to the game, and it's always great to have support for my channel. Everyone, please check out the link. It is an affiliate link. Just want to let you know that up front. But I do think this game is really awesome. It doesn't change my opinion on the game. There was, you know, there's 
just all of this is my personal opinions. I was actually going to play this game anyway eventually this year because it looked so interesting. So I'm so thankful and so happy and appreciative that I was able to check out this game um, with the support of them through Lure Kids. So thank you so much, everyone. Please leave comments down below about what you think. If you're going to check out the game, if it's on your wish list, I think it's a great experience, especially just as we're getting into summer. It was really nice to feel those summery vibes. And I was like, I need to go camping this summer. Like, I really need to get out. I mean, I need to get out of the house because I'm, I'm at this desk way too often. I think we all are at the desk a little too often. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and supporting the channel. If you ever want to see me live on the channel, I do put all of my scheduled streams on the front page of this channel, the homepage, and you can set notifications. I go live as often as I can, um, and I really love going live. It's always a great time, and you guys have been supporting the lives a lot recently. I've been able to go live a little more this month, so definitely check that out if you're interested, and I just appreciate you being here and enjoying the content. Let me know if there's any other games you're really excited for coming out this year. There's a lot of games. This is a huge indie game year, just like Pine Hearts is an indie game. They're all so charming and interesting in their own ways, and I'm just so excited to get my hands on these awesome indie games. So let me know what you're excited for. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to stay safe, hug your loved ones, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.